Prepare to get in the zone if you're a gamer and want a lot of hardware with a PS5 vibe. InZone, a new gaming brand from Sony that will focus on displays and headsets, is soon to launch a few new gadgets that are sure to tickle your fancy. What's most fascinating about these new gadgets is the fact that they look so much like the PlayStation. Also, they will be compatible with both PlayStation and PC. Now, InZone has announced new headsets and monitors that will take gaming to a whole new level, and we'll be taking a quick look at these gadgets today. Hello and welcome to Crazy Tech. Here we discuss the latest tech gadgets and inventions. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up and if you ever have any concerns, questions or opinions about the video, don't be shy, just leave a comment down below. Now let's get into the video. Let's start with the monitors. The M9 and M3 are the first in-zone gaming monitors and they have some impressive specifications. While the more affordable in-zone M3, which costs $530, has a 1080p panel with an insane 240Hz refresh rate, the M9 variant, which costs $900, has a 27-inch 4K display with 144Hz refresh rate. Although InZone doesn't produce hardware, particularly for the PS5, the M9 shares a similar style with Sony's newest console. With this device, Sony is obviously targeting PC players in addition to PS5 users. On this monitor, PC and PS5 games look and perform incredibly well thanks to its brilliant 27-inch 4K LCD display, 144Hz refresh rate, 1ms reaction time, VRR support, and G-Sync compatibility. The best thing though, all of this can be yours for less than a thousand dollars. This summer, the Sony InZone M9 gaming display will be available for $899. Other features include support for HDMI 2.1, G-Sync, a 1ms reaction time, and a maximum brightness of 600 nits, according to advertising. It's compatible with PC, PS5, and even the Xbox Series X. The InZone M9's stand is more similar to a tripod than the typical V-shaped stand that most monitors have. With a central shaft holding the screen and two thinner legs offering support from behind the stand, the screen slides towards you as you bring it down and slides away when you slide it up because the shaft is angled at a 45 degree angle. If you are used to monitors that go up and down a vertical shaft, it might take some time to get used to this, since the screen cannot be tilted left or right. You must adjust the whole monitor to get your desired viewing angle. Standard FPS game, cinema, game 1 and game 2 are among the present picture modes. Standard presents a balanced picture for both games and content in the first two settings. Brightness and contrast are enhanced in FPS mode to make it simpler to see adversaries. Cinema Mode is a PS5 exclusive feature that automatically kicks in when you watch streaming content or pop in a DVD, Blu-ray, UHD disc. Yes, those still exist. In contrast to Game 1 Mode, the default gaming mode which reduces input lag to improve game performance, Cinema Mode focuses on picture processing to deliver an overall stronger image. It will save you the hassle of setting up separate game and picture settings on your TV thanks to this fantastic function. Given that it will be on sale in the winter for a price of $529 in the US, the InZone M3 is intended to be the more reasonably priced monitor. It has a 27-inch screen and a refresh rate that tops out at 240Hz, which is its key selling feature. Other than the price, resolution, and a refresh rate, both monitors have the same specs and features. In addition to having a 27-inch IPS display, the InZone M3 and M9 both enable variable refresh rate and G-Sync, and both have a 1ms GTG reaction time. They both include exclusive PlayStation 5 features like Auto HDR, Tone Mapping, and Auto Genre Picture Mode, as would be expected. So the most important question here is, which is more important for you, resolution or refresh rate? While they are both excellent monitors, the answer to this question will tell you which of them you should go for. Now let's look at the headsets. Sony InZone have also announced three headsets. We have the InZone H9, InZone H7, and the InZone H3. The InZone H9 is one of the most comfortable headset designs you've ever seen, and it provides excellent sound, trustworthy active noise cancellation, and tons of fun customization options. The $300 InZone H9 is significantly more expensive than its siblings. The wired InZone H3, which costs $100, 
but it is superior and more adaptive than Sony's Pulse 3D. The H9 also competes well against cheaper PlayStation-compatible gaming headset rivals like SteelSeries Arctis 7P+. It boasts outstanding patented spatial sound with Tempest 3D compatibility, superb audio quality, a strong battery life, and simultaneous Bluetooth, a 2.4 GHS connectivity. It is also incredibly comfy and beautifully constructed. A little more affordable model is the $230 InZone Edge 7. It is the same headset as the Edge 9 with ear cushions wrapped in nylon like the Edge 3 but without noise cancellation and has a longer battery life. The nylon actually feels a bit cooler if slippier than the Leatherette and if you're indifferent to digital noise cancelling, they're probably a better buy. And based on the factory price, once the holiday deals start, we can start to see them fall below $200. It should come as no surprise that the H9 incorporates DNC and 40mm drivers from Sony's highly regarded WH-1000XM5 given its sound division roots. In order to reduce fatigue and other associated discomforts, the H9 uses low-pressure DNC, which attempts to not increase the pressure in your ears as much as normal cancellation does. The H9's microphone doesn't optimize for clarity, unlike many other gaming headsets, depending on your needs. This might be a positive or negative. It indicates that it lacks the clipped frequency range that gives your voice a clear tone. Instead, it has a more classic microphone-like sound with excellent natural voice quality, making it a potentially better option for streamers than squad mates. Because the microphone lacks noise cancellation, mechanical keyboards are loud and clearly audible. The InZone H9 headphones are without a doubt the best in Sony's new series of gaming headsets but when all things are considered, the InZone H7 might end up being a better choice. In the US, the InZone H7 headphones cost $229 and have many of the same features and benefits as the H9. There are also the $99 InZone H3 headphones available to people who want to save as much money as possible. The InZone H7 is less premium, as would be expected, but there are only a few differences. Therefore, it is debatable if investing an extra $70 on top of the InZone H7's $229 pricing is worthwhile. To be clear, the H9 headset is the one to choose if you want the greatest experience imaginable. The soft fit leather and noise cancellation do, however, make up the majority of the differences, both of which are likely less significant than all the H9 features that the H9 does include. It is also important to note that the noise cancellation on the H9 comes at a cost. The battery became a crucial component of the experience because there was no way to wire connect them. The H9 is rated to provide up to 40 hours of use before requiring a recharge, but the InZone H9 is rated to last up to 32 hours on a single charge. The InZone H9 headphones are more affordable and more likely the preferable option for gamers wishing to take advantage of Sony's gaming headset design, spatial audio, and wireless connectivity. And that's it for today's video. What do you think about these new line of products? Which of them will you be buying? Let us know all your thoughts down in the comment below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.